Right now, staying with rugby, my guest tonight is the new president of SA Rugby, Mr. Mark Alexander. Mark, welcome to the program. Welcome, thank you. You've been the deputy since 2007, so this isn't new territory for you, but it is your time now to take uh, the ship forward. How's that feeling? Look, it's, I'm excited. I think uh, we've we got a lot of challenges, but if we, we collaborate and work together, we can, we can turn the ship around. Uh, w what do you need to do first of all? I what think you know, we've we, we, we got a number of things we, we're busy with right now. We, we're busy with a proposal which we're putting to our general council uh, in, uh, in, in December. That's the 100 days. Uh, the, the, one, the, the one thing that we're going to do first is uh, looking at our, our demarcation and, 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 and our governance structure. Right. By splitting up uh, of, uh, of the rugby to franchise rugby and, and uh, a non-franchise okay, so rugby. That, that, that's, that's, that's quite a revolutionary thing. Um, a long time coming in South African rugby. Uh, are you borrowing from any um, sort of ideas that you've seen the New Zealand system? What we, what we did, we looked at what the, what the English have. Yep. We looked at what the French, uh, the, the French has. That's, uh, that's definitely not what we want. We looked at the Australians, but we got, it's, a, it's an hybrid of what New Zealand has. Yeah. We cannot contract 180 players. We, we, we can't afford, cannot afford that. But we can put a system in place where we can have um, equity players uh, p participating in, 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 in a franchise at a higher level mm -hmm. and also partici uh, participating in the delivery of the game, the management and delivery of the game. So we formed a structure called uh, 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 Franchise Committee. That committee will run and drive franchise rugby. The non-franchise committee will run and drive that, th that rugby. It's important for South Africa. We need to change it. We need to bring more money in the game. And we, mm -hmm. need, we need to run our, our organizations more professionally. And obviously the franchise uh, clubs will then work closely with the Springbok coach to give him what he needs, is, is that the uh, idea? That's what, that's what came out of the, the coaching in Daba, which was an excellent uh, uh, coaching in Daba. I think one of the key outcomes out of there was we're collaborating more. Right. Due to a lack of collaboration, we find ourselves where we find the Springbok today. Yeah. Each one uh, delivering the, the, the core skills differently. We now agreed on a blueprint of how we need to deliver the skills. Every, all the, the, the franchise unions agreed to use it as part of their training program, so we so at least the basics. Right. When a guy comes to Springboks, all the basics are delivered the same way. Mm. Uh, is it agreement in principle, or is it? It's agreement. It's an agreement. In 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 it's, it's agreement by, by the members. They have a follow-up meeting in December. Right. We also have a special conference in December for conditioning. Right. So I think this is a way forward. This should have happened years ago. It absolutely. I mean. It We've heard uh, Heineke Mayer uh, used to speak that he had assurances from the Super Rugby coaches that his players that he had earmarked for the Springbok team would be used appropriately, only to see them get injured. Uh, is is it more? Can we uh, have more of a guarantee? I, I think all the new young coaches. Uh, there, there, there was a bigger buying. There were no egos in the room. Right. I, I said to somebody, "This must be the best two days I spent in sport for a long, long time." We spoke rugby, and we spoke about systems, and now we, we have a blueprint coming out of there. The blueprint's drafted. They will again, they will look at the amendments to the blueprint in December, adopt that. Yep. So there will be follow-up meetings. So now at least we've got a system we're working together. We deliver the way we, uh, uh, certain skills a particular way. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the spring box, you know, the coach gets it for two weeks. Yep. At least those are taken care of. He's just to fine-tune his game plan and deliver the team. And the coach also spoke about um, developing that South African style of rugby and not looking at the other uh, leading countries, but rather making sure what... So, but it's an elusive style because a lot of coaches have been speaking about it. Uh, how does that work when you've got the big uh, franchises also, you know, trying to make sure that the Sharks play a certain way and the Bulls play a certain way? Uh, that's game plan, but mm. uh, is the core skills are the same. Right. That, that, that's one aspect we need to do. Uh, if one looks at the, the All Blacks, they control all 180. They rest plays from time to time. The other key thing that we need, need to look at as a, as a rugby union is look at player management. Well, players play too much rugby. We need to get to a position where we agree on a set number, and that number should just remain. The players should be managed within that number. We burn our we burn our players out year in and year out. Do you think South African rugby is stuck in a rut? I don't think we're in a rut. I think we, we, we uh, I think with the, with with especially this this coaching. Uh, there's a there's a new uh, uh, enthusiasm by, by by the coaches to to go forward and change the way things are running currently. We, nev we never spoke, to we, nev we never collaborated for so many years. Yeah. How do you expect to beat the All Blacks when they collaborate on an ongoing basis? So now if you split up uh, the, fr the, the, the unions, um, you, you put them in two camps, franchises and then the uh, amateur unions, you, you don't feel like you we're going to create it's a It's rift. not amateur unions, it's to be curry cup and certain right, components okay. delivered by the non-franchise. But what we're doing is creating a, a, a professional arm that 
uh, at a different level to okay. the rest of the rugby. And 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 and, and we, the, the small unions are just as important as the big unions. Right. The Springboks don't come from Cape Town and Johannesburg. They come from Limpopo, uh, from the Falcons, and, and small towns like that. So all the unions are as important, but we just organize ourselves differently. But it's going to involve a lot of um, talking between the unions. It, it, it involves a lot of talking and a lot of collaboration between right. the unions. The unions already have partners, smaller partners, so there'll, yeah. be, there'll always be collaboration with that. At this coaching in Darba, was there a sense that what have we done kind of thing, and we need to I stop doing what we have I been doing? I think it was a reality check at the coaching Darba. Right. You know, we've always thought we said all these big backline players. We don't. We're not the biggest backline in the world anymore. Yeah. Now, considering if, you, if that's the case, your defense and attack is totally different. So, you know, so I think what came out of there was a lot of uh, soul searching and an and, and eye opening. Uh, and it was, it was an unbelievable uh, 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 coaching in Daba. And uh, just the, the, the participation by the people concerned. We had some uh, broadcasters there mm -hmm. that participated as well. There was ex uh, 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 Springbok coaches. It was really a good conference. And I'm looking forward to the next one, to get to the next one, so we can have more of that type of debate in rugby. And how did Alistair Kutsia uh, feel after this? Because there is that uh, impression that he, as soon as you become the Springbok coach, you're the lowest. You, 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 I think if he feels more that a lot of people out there want to help him. Yeah. And we want to go forward as a, as a nation. I think that the, the, the loss also, uh, it was a reality check for South Africa and said, you know, let's stop now what we're doing. Let's, let's take, take rugby forward and let's look at uh, the systems we have to deliver uh, uh, elite, elite players. Well, one of the other big issues that hit SA Rugby recently was the fact that you couldn't bid for the 2023 World Cup, and that was down to your transformation scorecard. You guys had been in the past quite active in, in talking about transformation. You were the first uh, uh, federation to, to bring about a transformation in Darba. Are you on the right track now? And it there, were, there were two things we failed on particularly. One was the uh, non-traditional rugby schools. Right. We got our Get Into Rugby program and we're working with the MECs in the provinces. And our target for, for 2019 was 150,000 uh, new uh, players, which we have on our footprint pro program. We have 150 currently. So we, mm. by 2019, we would have doubled what we promised. Right. Uh, as far as the, the, the national teams are concerned, we've met our targets and exceeded, in, in most cases, exceeded our targets as promised with government. So we're quite confident come uh, to 2017 where we will, we will, we will be allowed to bid. The minister, uh, the minister allowed us to go through the application phase, which right. we qualified. We're one of the three unions that qualified to go to next year. And, and when we believe we come next year when we have to submit our do documents, uh, we'll have government support. It's good for the country. Absolutely. We, we, did, a, we did an economic impact study, 37.3 uh, million to, to, to the economy, a direct impact to the economy. Uh, 38,000 jobs, direct, uh, uh, per permanent and uh, uh, temporary jobs. So I think there's uh, uh, 2,000 guests visiting the country over that period. We mm -hmm. need foreign uh, 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 investment in the country and foreign exchange. And one was considered, you know, in South Africa, up to between 6 and 9 percent of our GDP is, is tourism. The big bulk of that is sports tourism. And I think what the value proposition we put on the table, it's exciting for our country. And does, uh, th does the South African government realize that there's only so many um, regions or countries that can bid for the World Cup? And we kind of are one of the, I'm not going to tempt fate, but we're, we're sort of a dead certainty. We only, we only um, you know, hosted it last time in 1995. So it's long overdue. It is long overdue. Two times we won the World Cup. Um, as I said, only so many territories it can go to. And, and the exciting thing, we can deliver the sim similar number of tickets that was done in London. So we can deliver the World Cup cheaper and a greater impact to our economy. So, you know, I, I, I th I'm, I'm excited. I think we can put a, a good bit forward. We, we did the first preparation parts. We went through the application mm -hmm. phase. The numbers look good. But it's an EPG uh, report, the it's eminent, EPG persons. Uh, eminent persons grouping. And, and the, the, the things that we were, we were lacked on last year, we've met those targets. We met and exceeded those targets. We have, a, we have an online system that measures that. We have a weekly uh, a barometer that we check on. So we, we, we're quite confident that come, come, come May next year, mm -hmm. the, the government would support the bird we put through. How long are you in this uh, presidency role? Look, uh, it's not long, is it? You know, it's, 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 it's a, a two-year up till the, 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 the term ends. Yeah. And, and then, uh, then run, uh, I can, I'm, I'm eligible to run in 2018 again. Well, Mark, we uh, hope to check in with you from time to time oh, thank and, you. and see how things are going. And best of luck in, in your new role. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on the show.